Yeah, boy! What's up, it's Sage25, and I'm back for another commentary. And I brought a friend with me this time. He's oh, gonna hero. Uh, there he is, hero. He's not Asian, but he is awesome. Uh, and his Sorry. name... Uh, yeah. <laughs> his name is SpartanWolf19. You want to introduce yourself? How's everybody doing? Uh... Yeah, I'm from my team, buddy of Sage, we've been playing together for over five years, and I'm here to help him commentate on his amazing gameplay. Five years! Uh, yeah, okay, alright, so I'm running the MP5 on Wasteland here. I don't know what that's about, but whatever, I'm Sage, baby. Um, I'm running the middle right here, so you see, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm running an SMG, which is a pretty quick class, so when I'm in the bunker, I can pretty much get to to any point on the map uh, when I hear my teammates call out you know I can get to the spot quickly and I've already started off my kill yeah, streaks. Just mention, uh -huh. just mention that uh, this game unlike all the other ones he's posted he has a couple of his teammates with him that he usually plays with. Thank you Danny. So, you, know, you might notice I mean Spartan. Welcome, you might notice some difference in like awareness because uh, they're probably talking. It's true. Communi killing is what I like to call it. Um, I actually coined that phrase. You it, don't call it it's that. not popular. Call it it's that. not popular, so it doesn't matter that I say that I coined it, but whatever. Um, I'm ripping <laughs> it up. Anyway, yeah, so you see the... Oh, throwing knife fail, but he sucks at life. Um, yeah, so there's some blue arrows, which is fun, because I get to actually listen to my teammates, and, uh, and I actually know what's going on in the game, as opposed to like where I'm just sitting back and killing people because my teammates are artards. Now I mean. Also, like to point out that you are using a UAV, and it's very important to have a mix of that. Any game you're playing, to have someone running a UAV, more than one person, preferably, but that's you know true. How people uh, are. I think in all of my other videos, well, except for the search and destroy one, I was probably running UAV, but um, I usually run like yeah. uh, a Pred Harrier and Pavlo, because I, a lot of people use five seven eleven, but I don't like wasting my time like laying down at a computer like sitting in a chopper gunner, I, I like my payload to get kills for me, and you can get kills at the same time. Right. It's like double your pleasure, double your... I actually fun. want to quote something. I don't remember who said it, but I remember a while back someone said that you... Uh, I don't remember who they said it to, but something about uh, your KD gets a lot higher when you run, like, you know, Predator Harrier. They low, but... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Side, shh, shh. Watch this. Ooh, Watch nice, this. Nice wait, wait, there. wait. Booyah. You see that? Bullseye. Watch. That was pretty sick. Alright, go Where ahead. Where do you get so many knives? I, I have scavenger on, and I, I just felt like running that throwing that knife, so that was pretty sweet. What were you saying? Anyway, on the flip side, when you run a UAV, your whole team's KD goes up. And not only KD, but your actual win percentage, just because you know where they are. It's very important. Um, it really is a big deal. If, yeah, if you have more than one person running UAV, and you... Just, just think about the other Call of Duties when everyone was forced to use one, and you couldn't shoot them down. Yeah, that's a good Now you can. You know? So that's just a big difference. So more people should be running it, if anything. Word. So you can even see uh, the little uh, the little voice markers on the left. My teammates are actually talking. And I'm still running the bunker here. I'm not actually running flags or anything, but I think we have our randoms are actually doing a decent job of capping flags. Plus, Yeah, it's a good idea to have, in this tight area, to have um, you know an SMG down here. Even though you're not running the flag, you're still holding this area which is could be the most important it's the safest route with the flag so if you control it why not run the flag through there all the time word all right um tell me a little something uh, about about this game what do you enjoy about this game as opposed to other call of duties modern warfare 2 you mean um yeah let's see you mean all right, now you're talking pub ones or no? <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess so, because because most people that watch these are into pubs. All right, the custom, the, the definitely the biggest change is being able to customize your kill streaks. Everyone knows that. Why would you throw that knife? Um, <laughs> Scavenger, yo, whatever. Um, you know, I definitely like the the mix of perks that they did. That um, you are, you know, not everyone has to use stopping power, you know, and the guns are actually some of them are usable without it, so. You know, there's a lot more combinations. That's probably the biggest thing for me, the combination of guns between the attachments. And, you know, it's, it's got, like, RPG elements in some ways just because there's so many different things you can run. 
that are actually effective, unlike the other one. Yeah, there's other a huge quality. variety. Like, most people think the AR, the assault rifles, are overpowered, which is pretty much true, because there's, like, I don't I don't even know, there's, like, 12 of them. Yeah, I definitely thought that at first. I couldn't do anything without an assault rifle. I pretty much never used an SMG, but now I, you get used to it. You learn how to run different routes and stuff. Like, right now, you're not just going to... You know, throwing those stuns in the beginning are important. I, 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 so many times when we play games and I spectate our teammates, and it's like the end of the round, and they still have all their stuns and all their, like, why do you still have all your grenades? You know, you should be using them all the time like you are. Yep. Did you see that kid back there, like, jumping? Especially with Scavenger. You see that kid jumping up and down at the, like, by the bunker there? Like a retard? Yeah, I didn't really know. Yeah, there's like a really, uh, there's like a glitch right there where you get inside the, inside the wall and nobody can see you and you just shoot people it's kind of gay um Jesus. it's three to nothing here okay so these these kids that were playing they're a party of six and uh spartan wolf here actually joined joined our party like i think the game after this and uh these, these yeah, guys these guys became one. our friends pretty quick didn't they they're they're nice <laughs> there's like one good sniper on their team and the rest of them just you know like to do the mouth thing the mouth thing. <laughs> yeah. You want to explain the mouth thing <laughs> so people don't get the wrong impression? The mouth thing is what we're conversing in right now. Microphones. Talking. Talking. Um. Okay. Oh, that was okay. That was dumb. I I knew that guy was there. I threw a stun there, and then I got distracted by another guy, and then the guy killed me that I should have been looking at. <sighs> This game gets boring in the second round. All right, all right, it is boring. So let's talk about how do you want to play CTF when you have a party of six? Um, well, we actually remember those last couple of games we played on Game Battle seemed to work pretty well to have definitely it does it well on this map or you mean all the time? Um, I'd say in general, in but general. yeah, let's say in general. In general, one or two hard defenders is a good idea. Um, you know, and this is I'm talking 66 right now. Um, at least two runners. Lightweight makes a big difference in this. I don't particularly like to use lightweight, but when someone grabs that flag, you can't catch them most of the time. So that makes a big difference. And then the other four guys that just you know floating around. Now, um, one thing I want to say is that like we've we've been through so much as you know a team and everything, and we saw like assign roles like you know. You do run the flag and you play defense and stuff, but when you get to like a higher competitive level and you get spawn respawn uh, respawn timers and stuff, everyone needs to be able to switch out and do all those things. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so not necessarily assigning people to it, but those are the things that people should be doing. I don't mean specific people. Though. Right. Okay. So so here's the deal. When Spartan Wolf and I here met, it was back in Halo Two. And uh, and we were in this clan, this super organized clan of big team battlers, and so super super. Basically, everybody had a job, and and they did their job, and they were limited to their job. And we thought we were we were good, which we were okay. We could compete, but like, you realize that to actually <laughs> to actually compete and be and be an all around player, you have to be able to do everything. Like. If I had to run the flag here, I'd run the flag, and I would know that where my teammates are and how they could help me. And if I had to defend the flag, then I'd sit back and defend the flag. You know, like you got to be able to do everything. Right. That, it's also uh, we also found in all caps of the flags that it's not just because you're up. That doesn't mean you stick six people on defense. Yeah, that's a good thing to mention because I always say that. Um, like it. Yeah, what, what I mean, it's in, very very rare. What happens in capture the that flag is if if you're all back at your at your base and you have like four people die then you don't like if you die in the middle of the map then by the time they get to your base you're going to be respawning but if you die at your base by the time you respawn they're going to have your flag back to their base you know if, right. that, if that makes any sense so it's good to have you know those one or two guys constantly pushing throwing knives through bushes that's pretty good game over um thanks for being my special guest maybe i'll have you on again and uh I hope everybody enjoyed and comments. Love you.